This is a Richard back at you. We got Rodriguez's 05 Tahoe in here uh, that we're doing the rear end, the transfer case, and the uh, transmission in. We have Annie hanging out. She's been hanging out for the last couple of days. We also got Richard, Richard, myself, and Richard, I want to thank you for the Burt B's almond milk uh, hand cream. Uh, he says it's really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm uh, curious to get home and uh, see what it feels like. Because my hands get really dry up here at the shop and stuff. But Richard, I want to thank you for that. Definitely. We're, I'm excited to try that because my hands just stay dry all the time. Uh, but we're going to get this apart real quick. Now we do have the rear end apart. Uh, they uh, changed the pinion seal on it and retightened the yoke and uh, crushed it too tight and uh, took out the pinion bearings and stuff. So we're doing all the gears, bearings, and stuff like that. So. He's got a lot of miles on it, so he wants to go ahead and go through the transmission and the transfer case. We don't have any leaks or anything that we can really see. We got a little bit of fluid coming out through the gasket in between here. So rear seal doesn't show to be leaking, but we will be putting all three seals in this thing. So we'll get our front output speed sensor out. There's no uh, metal on it or anything there, so that's a plus. Then we have two output speed sensors. No metal on any of them. Now the fluid was really dark in this thing. Uh, didn't have a lot of gunmetal gray or anything. It's just really, really dark. So. Now this here is your electronic motor that puts it in four wheel low, four high, two wheel drive. Anytime you push the button or turn the dial on the dash, uh, this is what it, you're moving. Now it does have a gasket here. See here it's got seals around all your bolts and stuff to the case that way nothing could leak. Now this is a one-way keyway here. You can see here, it'll only go one way on this shaft. Now, we normally when you get these apart, these shafts are real floppy. Hear that? They just move real easy. So you'll have to take and line it up, try to put it back on, line it up, get it back on, but it only goes one way. So it's not too bad. So. Now we have a snap ring down in here uh, that keeps everything from moving back and forth. I'm gonna try to push it in and push it back just a little bit and get it on top of the bearing. Try to hit it like that. Now the snap ring's on top of the bearing. It's not in the groove no more. So when I take all these bolts out, hopefully uh, it'll just slide right off. There. works really good. Works really good. Now they put plenty of bolts in these things. Now this is a 246 GM transfer case. If you notice on here, every time I hit the trigger, it tells me my battery power. So I like about that. So really, a uh, nice impact right there, guys. Okay, you see it already popped off kind of like that. It's out of the snap ring groove here. Can you see that there, Trent? See how the bearing snapped out of there? Yes, sir. So now I should be able to just pull this off without much effort at all. And they have a little piece right there. Oh. 
I used my skip my seal remover this time, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't my big bar, but I named it something else. <laughs> so, I'm gonna look in here and see if the bushings all messed up or melted out. Uh, we just did one here the other day. Uh, the bushing was all melted out and the shift fork inserts and all that stuff. So well, let's get in here and look at this. Now this is gonna be uh, very rare here for this tab not to be, well, it's, it's look at it, it's yeah, almost fall off. fall off, yes. And you can see it already started wearing right in there. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't fallen, once it falls off, it'll start cutting all the corners. So we got really lucky. We got a nice uh, case here. Can you see that there? Uh, let me, can you see how that started cutting? And that oh, oil's in there right now. Oh, it's kind of yeah. hard to see. Heck, it was almost pushing the whole thing through it. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never see seen right that. See how that hard that know. pushes? Wow. So that pump saver we'll put in here, it'll let it push on all four corners and not have to worry about this no more. It didn't knock a hole through the case or anything like that, because normally it'll put a hole through here and one around here and then so on, so on, all the way around, so. speed sensor here it'll go either direction just make sure the snap ring on the bearing goes out but this can go either way we have a little uh, springy looking washer or a spacer here it just keeps everything tight keeps it from moving and then here we have our pump we have our pump suction tube we have an o-ring in here and then we have a pump and you can see how. Now when the dry shaft turns, this pump turns, which lubricates everything inside the transfer case. So. We're gonna pull this all out at one time. And set it aside. We'll go over here and look at our pump suction right here and see how much silicone we get in these. Every time we take one of these apart, there's just a massive amount of silicone, you know, this thing sucking up against. You can see it all right there. So you can overkill silicone really easy when you smash it together. So. Chain looked really good. We, like I say, where we, I should have showed you when we. Stand it up, we pull them apart like this, and you can tell if the, the chain is droopy or if it's tight. So this chain looked really good. Spot just looks good. Now if you see here, how this chain has a, a, a three tabs here that's purple or blue or whatever color right here. And then the other one we did the other day had two tabs mm -hmm. that were blue. Yep. So that makes a difference in the size of the chain, what sprockets you have in it, uh, all that type of stuff. So if you order a chain for your transfer case, this is they're gonna ask you that, that right there at the parts store or wherever you get it as. It's got three blue, two blue or so on, or even the width of the chain. So they're, but they are gonna ask you that type of stuff. So. Now you remember this is an auto four wheel drive. Uh, we have clutches in here like an automatic transmission. Actually the it takes the same clutches and steels as the Dodge 4748RE uh, overdrive clutch. So uh, when we get the clutches to put back in here, that's what we use. Everybody I like, hold their mouth. This is a, what did that guy call this thing? It's a Jesus clip. Yeah. Because when it comes off, it's, you know what? Where did it go? <laughs> but anyway, it's a half moon clip. It's really thin. And I mean, these things can go anywhere and hard to find, especially if you're like me that has to wear glasses. Uh, once it gets out here, it's totally gone. <laughs> so, but we have a bearing here. I'm gonna check it. We have a spacer here. You see how it's starting to wear here. 
then we have all the clutches. Now we have a, a wavy spring here too that sets down in the middle right here. Now, come on. Okay, there is another clutch down in there. See if I can pull that out. There it comes. there's too much material on the plate of the clutch for the magnet to pick it up so it's like okay now here we go back uh, to the kind of like a second design where normally this plate right here would come out with this piece right here I mean it's one piece like this one is but normally this plate here would come out as a single piece and right up against his clutch when I turned it over, but this is a uh, one solid piece here. Now we did an earlier video, it was a two piece, you can go back and check that out and see what I'm talking about. And then here's your clutches guys, this is uh, what the computer brings on, uh, this is what you bring on when you put it in four wheel drive. If you put it in four wheel drive, the computer uh, automatically lifts this fork up and puts the clutch on automatically, it just holds it on, you're in four wheel drive. Same thing with four wheel low, uh, the computer will lift this up, it'll push this fork forward and add the planetary and now we are in four wheel low. So there's our reduction. Uh, now when you go to auto four wheel drive, the computer moves the, this lever here to apply the clutch. Anytime it feels front tire slippage or anything like that. And that's what that does. So, but this is the same uh, overdrive clutch and steel that's in your Dodge uh, overdrive clutch. So if you ever need them, that's where you can go to, to find them. So. That stuff's out of the way. So you can see your big shift fork here. Now, I do want to show you something, guys, because I said this in my last video. If you put this set, when you get this together, you set this back down in there like this. If this bearing stop right here has to be at this end, it has to fit in here. If you put it in here, it pushes everything apart, and now you can't get your cover on. You'll fight it for an hour trying to figure out what you did wrong, and that's all you did is you put that here instead of in here see so just remember that because that that will bite you if you're uh, at home doing it yourself if you're sitting on that table it will get you so we have our pivot pins now here's where we don't want to see any damage we don't want to see anything melted like our last one you know the shift fork was melted uh, the shift work inserts were melted, stuff like that. So we get in here, look at this. Looks brand new, guys. But our kit will come with them anyway, so we'll be putting new ones on there. The fork looks really nice. The locking collar looks really good. No wear on it or on the tips or anything. So. I'm going to use my special seal remover right here, guys, real quick. I bought it at Harbor Freight. I broke my last one. That's why I don't have it no more. But this one here, actually, I, when I cut it, and it's actually a better fit than my other one, so I even did better. Doesn't really damage it right here or anything. It just tucks up under, and, and you can pop it right out. But I took and grinded it like that. That way it'll get up under there. So 
Works really nice. And so when we get this all apart and get it cleaned up, uh, we'll look at everything really, really close. See if we see anything else, any type of funny wear. Thrush washer there looks really nice. And then this one here, it guys, it'll have a tab on it. Well, this one here won't. Tab on the bottom. You can put a tab on the top. I've seen them come in that way. Um, won't hurt it. Mainly want to look in here too, see if there's any wear where this gear locks in here. That way it don't jump out of gear or anything like that. So it looks pretty nice. I think we can come in here and uh, put some small parts in here and get this thing back together. Really a reasonable price for this gentleman. So it's not going to kill him too bad. So we got his 4060E to tear down next. Uh, it's coming in the next video too. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, push that button. Uh, a lot more to come. Y'all have a wonderful day.